Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Haja and I love to teach you makeup application. In today's tutorial, I'm going to apply a glamorous evening look on my eyes, which are a combination of hooded and downturned eyes. You can determine hooded eyes by looking straight into a mirror without raising your forehead because otherwise the hood on top of your lid might disappear. Now, while looking relaxed, you will notice excess skin we call the hood, which sits right on top of your mobile lid. On some eyes, this excess skin might cover the whole mobile lid completely, especially on mature skin. On mine, it slightly covers the whole lid, but it is more intense on the outer half. Nevertheless, please note that hooded eyes are beautiful as they are. What we want to achieve with makeup is enhance its beauty the best way possible. So with this smoky winged look and some sparkle on the lid, we will help the eyes to look lifted and more elongated no matter what eye shape. Let's get started with this quick and easy eye makeup tutorial. First of all, we prepare our eyelids while applying concealer all over it. I'm using the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Sand and blend it with a beauty blender into the skin. In the next step, I set the concealer with my first eyeshadow shade called Flower Child by Tara Tot Lip Palette in Blue. I use a big shader brush and apply the shade all over the lid, dabbing it into my skin. Now I apply the shade Vintage Tube from the Natasha Denona Retro Palette with the same shader brush all over my mobile lid up until my crease fold. In case you wonder where the mobile lid is located, here is a brief explanation. It is the lid part which moves when opening and closing your eyes, plus it is the lid part that is framed by the crease fold. After preparing the mobile lid, we go ahead and apply our winged eyeliner. I use an angled eyeliner brush dipped into the shade Activist and extend the upper lash line drawing the first line of the flick. Make sure this line is pointing upwards towards the tail of the brow and that it is not too long. That step will help to lift the eyes naturally. Then we complete the flick starting from the end of the line and create a wing lining with the eyeshadow until the outer edge of the eye. Make sure to keep your eyes open while applying the flick since that will prevent it from looking crooked on open eyes. Then we start to fill in the drawn flick while applying eyeshadow in the gaps. In the next step, we use a smudger brush and intensify the shade Activist further to get rid of any patchiness. <laughs> Once the eyeliner looks intense in shade, we switch to a lighter brown shade from the same palette called Rebel and apply it on top of the eyeliner to create a nice transition. Now we start to smoke out the eyeliner while blending only towards the inner eye corner instead of upwards. Do not use any additional eyeshadow, blend without product on the brush. We focus on lifting the outer hood or excess skin while creating a nice shadow that will help to camouflage the excess skin. You have to blend until the smoked out eyeliner looks evenly and softly blended. Important is also to create a nice transition from dark to light on the eyeliner and that is why we keep the bottom of the eyeliner intense while applying eyeshadow on that part with the eyeliner brush. Now, to enhance the upper lash line and close any gaps, we use black cool liner by L'Oreal called the Look Cool and line the upper lash line. Then we prepare the eyelashes using a lash curler and curling the lashes to lift them. Press gently and release after 10 to 20 seconds each eye. That will help us to apply mascara effortlessly. 
Now we apply our mascara by Maybelline Sky High, an absolute recommendation if you're in search of a new great mascara. Apply two coats each eye and let it dry before proceeding to the next step. I wanted you to see how you can wear this look more softly for the day by skipping the sparkle, eyeshadow and false lashes. It opens up the eyes and makes them look flattering for the day. But to complete our promised evening look, we apply the sparkly eyeshadow called Galaxia from the Mini Retro Palette by Natasha Denona with our pinky. You can use a dance flat brush, but I feel like the sparkles sit well on the lid if I use the warmth of my finger. Important is to use dabbing motions when using sparkle, glitter and shimmer of any kind because that will prevent fallouts and make the application look more pigmented. In the inner corner as well as around the tear duct we apply the highlighting shade Funny Girl from the Tarte palette to open up the eyes further. Then we go ahead and apply our false lashes. Please note not to use false lashes with too long lash hairs and a thick lash band since that will not look flattering and natural on hooded eyes. It will cover the minimal available lid space which we want to prevent. The ones I'm using are foaming lashes by the brand KISS called Lash Couture in the design Little Black Dress. I apply the falsies with a tweezer on top of my upper lash line and press the corners onto my skin for them to stick. To blend them seamlessly with my natural lashes, I press them gently together with a lash curler. Next I apply black eyeliner on top of the lash band to make it blend in with my makeup. I apply my concealer on my clean under eyes in the last step to remove any fallouts or darkness under the eyes. Then I set it with a translucent powder to make the concealer set into place. In the last spontaneous step, I decided to apply mascara on my lower lashes to balance out the look overall. I recommend you to use a waterproof mascara for the lower lashes as they are less probable to transfer down to the eyes in the course of the day. That is basically the whole look. Thank you for tuning in. I hope it was informative enough and you're inspired to try out this look for your next party. In case you like what you watch, I would appreciate if you like this video and subscribe to my channel for more quality content every Sunday. Thank you and have a nice week.